see you once again at Miss Edda's Academic Corner. We're going to read a book. Well, we're not going to read the book. She's going to read the book. <laughs> thank you, guys. Hey, welcome to Miss Edda's Academic Corner. We thank you, Judah G Sr. and Judah Jr., for introducing me. I really appreciate you. You've been with us every time that we read, and it's great to have you. Yes, we like reading. We enjoy it. So we see Bree, we see Connor, and we see Kenya. It's good to see all of you. And if you want to shout out, make sure you send your name, and Miss Etta will shout your name out. And she has an email address, which she will include in the introduction on Facebook. So now, boys and girls, we're reading a, t a book called Teacher Sandy Gives an A. Now, I want you to look at the name Sandy is spelled S-A-N-D-I. There's another way people spell Sandy. Sometimes they spell it S-A-N-D-Y. So we know the I and the Y have the same sound, different le letters. Sandy, Sandy, E. E, E. So teacher Sandy gives an A. This is a softback book and it's a classroom celebration. We see lime green, we see red, blue, gray, black, white, yellow, red, all kinds of colors. So this book is written by the author Cynthia D. Johnson, which I know her. She's a really nice lady, and this book is illustrated by Antella Antoinella Cabriano. I hope I'm saying that right. Teachers have a passion for teaching, but what happens to the teacher when her class is disrupted by students who misbehave? Mm. This book shows how a teacher rises from being disappointed to overwhelmingly joy. One day, her students took note of their teacher's face, see what they did to bring a smile to teacher Sandy's face. Most of Ms. Um, <clears throat> Johnson's book are books to empower and encourage youths of all ages. <clears throat> Excuse me, boys and girls. So, teacher Sandy gives an A, a classroom celebration, uh, the interior illustration is by Echo Designs. That means the inside. The cover illustrated by A. Camerano. And then the cover layout by Rebecca Covers. She has a dedication in this book. And it says this book is dedicated to all the teachers who need some encouragement. Those who have a passion for teaching and showing the children the way they must go. Thank you teachers for your patience, love and concerns. Thank you, teachers, for hanging in there when it seems to be no way. Better days are coming. Be encouraged. Why is this important for you boys and girls to know what teachers feel? Is because that way you understand how your teacher feels in school. Rather, you're online, uh, virtual classroom, or brick and mortar. And remember, brick and mortar means in the building. There was a teacher named Sandy who taught in a school where the children were very disruptive. And disruptive means the children weren't acting right. They were doing things they should not be doing. Teacher Sandy used to be very excited about teaching the class. Every year she received children who had disruptive behaviors. So, disruptive behaviors could be talking, being off task, making things and flying them in the classroom, yelling, screaming, not paying attention to the teachers, all that is disruptive behaviors. Though she loved to teach, the misbehaving children caused her to become very unhappy and sad. This went on day after day, week after week, month after month, and year after year. She could not teach because of the constant distractions in her class. One day, Sandy woke up and noticed this day was different. It would be a day like no other. So she had a feeling that this is going to be a different day.
That same day, the children noticed how sad teacher Sandy had become. Some days, they even saw her cry. Ooh, that's really sad. One of, uh, one of Teacher Sandy's classes talked among themselves, thinking how can they bring a smile to their teacher's face? So they decided to do something nice for her. They all called their parents to chip in to buy a nice cake to surprise her, which is what you do when you're getting ready to do something. Let your parents know. When Teacher Sandy came back from lunch, oop, she's opening that door. I wonder what's behind the door. Let's look. The classroom was full of colorful balloons, decorations, and a huge bright cake. Remember the, the word huge means large, big. This gesture placed a smile on teacher Sandy's face. She thought, when did they do this? How could this be? How all the classroom thought about me? So she definitely was surprised and happy. Teacher Sandy began to smile. She begins to laugh out loud. Right then she gave them hugs because they, because she was so proud. She was so proud of her students. Wow. And this told her that the students cared about her. They told her the celebration was not because of what she taught, but because of the patience that she had for them all. Gotta have patience when you're working with children. At that moment, teacher Sandy was no longer sad, but how the celebration has made her glad. Teacher Sandy gave all of her class an A for the day. So adults, when you're working with ch children, be patient. Children, let the adults be patient so that they will know that you really care about them. Let your teachers know that you really care about them. Questions for the class is at the end of this book. Why was teacher so Sandy so sad? What kind of things would you say the class was doing to make teacher Sandy unhappy? What would you do to encourage the class with good behavior? Why did teacher Sandy feel it was different that day? What things can you do to promote classroom teamwork? What kinds of things would you do to make your teacher happy? And how you can obtain an A for the day in the classroom? These questions at the back of these books are very important because they remind you of the things that you should remember from your reading. So remember, whatever you're in, always try to make sure you understand where your teacher's coming from. And little teachers, be encouraged. See you next time.